Hello, I'm back for another couple games. Uh, right now, uh, I have a few very quick ones and one awesome game against Momi or Pig to, pl to play for you. So, I believe the token counter is the first one. Uh, let me see. I'm just checking these. Uh, I, don't, I believe this is the right one. My opponent's playing uh, Karanos. I'm playing Rashmi. Uh, so. I keep a turn two Rashmi hand. My Karanos keep my opponent keeps their seven. I go with turn two Rashmi. I have Gush as well on my untap. I play the island, get in with Rashmi, leave up Gush so I can cast it for five mana, which I do. Might as well, right? Get an island off that. My opponent goes to uh, Logic, not the Gush for one. Well, that's fine. Uh, I lose flip, get him with Rashmi, draw forbid. I decide not to play the island just because I want to have forbid food. That's not so of temptation. Uh, I pick up a spell pierce, get him with Rashmi again. My opponent goes for a click. I'm going to forbid that. Uh, I'm not going to buy it back at this point. Uh, I get a sack of a tribe builder. My opponent is stalled on land, so I was half expecting this click to be targeting themselves and trading for Rashmi, so they could cycle a card out of their hand. So I'm going to try to press the advantage, put Spell Pierce into play, back myself up. They go for Order of su Succession. Good thing I uh, played that Spell Pierce. I'm going to sack the Elder and then Spell Pierce, getting an Into the World into my hand. Get Mana Crypt, and, or sorry, uh, lose the, I think I lost that Mana Crypt flip. Uh, tap some mana. If the gameplay doesn't bug, there we go. So I into the royal. Uh, what did I even target with into the royal? Uh, targeting keep flying. Okay, so I guess it does bug. Um, I'm not sure of what uh, I targeted with into the royal. I mean, maybe it was my own crypt just to get some draw going. I do not remember. Uh, the game ends in a moment. Yeah, there's definitely a bug. Yep. Uh, I reveal the gate. We get a bug on it. My opponent taps for Karanos, I believe. I don't think I don't think I had it. Um, no. Based on my mana, this might have been Amnesia. I think I amnesia my opponent in this game. Sorry about that. And my opponent concedes after that. Let me see if it'll jump to the end. Yep. Uh, they concede. Uh, th all, all of these games were a while ago. So that was against Token uh, Counter. Yeah, this was the 19th. So I say a while ago. It was two days ago. Playing against Straight Cash Homie. All right, Straight Cash Homie. Let's see who you're running. I believe he's running Dromar the Banisher. Yep, Dromar the Banisher, an Esper Dragon, deals damage, bounce creatures of a chosen color by paying two and blue. I have this sweet opening hand. Uh, I have, ch I'm gonna lead with blue just so I could potentially have counterspell with it on turn two. Lead with Palomar Depths. I pick up a three visits, pretty useful card. I get a Shrip Mine, so I'm gonna run the forest out and three visits into a breeding pool, which I sh I'm going to shock myself for, just to fade a counterspell, or fade a one mana counterspell. They go with Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth, and this felt to me like this was their only black source. They've played specifically Esper so far, but they ran an Urborg out um, instead of a Swamp or some other black source. So I could strip them off of blue or white, but honestly, I want to cut their black here. Because I feel like they might go light in on black in their deck, black sources in their deck, because they have Urborg. Uh, or they could have Coffers next turn, which I could also see as being a potential for 1, 2, 4, 5 with a single color uh, other than black. So I'm going to untap, and despite my ability to untap and play Rashmi, I'm going, and thankfully I pick up a Preordain, I'm going to strip their Urborg, pass my main phase. And uh, I tried, I think I went to pa uh, leave my step so I could keep up the counterspell instead of casting Preordain. And they just scoop. And 
sometimes a game is just as easy as reading uh, a play like this, seeing that they're a Borg, assuming, uh, feeling that that is their only source of black, and cutting them off the color. And just like that, the control deck folds. So that's that game. Um, uh, Pagan Gamer, up next. I have that this second game against uh, Straight Cash Homie. He concedes immediately because he doesn't want to play the game. So sometimes that happens. Hour-long clocks, which I didn't even realize now that I uh, I can only see it now. So Pagan Gamer is playing a Chroma Angel of Fury. A red, 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 five, six, six, flying, can't be countered, trample, protection from white, blue, with fire breathing, and morph with for triple red and three generic. So, pretty good. Well, I'm not going to be countering it unless it is cast as a morph, uh, because it is then considered cast as a 2-2 uh, two -two with no abilities and no identity. It is no longer a chroma, so you can counter it if they pay three mana for a chroma instead of five. Uh, keep in mind, when a chroma is your commander, if you cast her as a morph, the commander stack still applies. So the first time you cast her, she would be three, and then she would be five. Uh, even though the ability says uh, cast face down as a 2-2 two -two creature for three, you are still casting it, and that's a uh, key card. Uh, same as dash with uh, Kolagan, Storm's Fury. I'm going to keep my hand. I lead on Thornward Falls. Then I can either Nature's Lore or leave up Memory Lapse. I think I decide for the Nature's Lore. Just because I don't give credence to mono red, I disregard most of what they can do. Yep, so I go get a tapped breeding pool. I don't even want to take the damage, especially against mono red, just because of the uh, uh, blisteringly fast damage that some mono red decks can do. They go with a gutter snipe. I pick up Jace right on schedule. I'm going to tap out, I think, about Rashmi for a sec. I decide I don't want to take damage off gutter snipe at all, especially if they have a s instant or sorcery way to remove Rashmi. They can. Kill Rashmi, set me back, deal 2 damage to me, and then attack and deal another 2 damage to me, putting me down to 37. I mean, not that that damage matters that much from 41, but every little bit counts, especially against Mono Red. So I'm going to take the tempo fight and use Jace to remove Gutter Snipe here, instead of running Rashmi out. And good thing I did, they did have a way to remove Rashmi with Crater's Claws, so I would have taken 4 damage, because they would have just paid 1 more, targeted Rashmi, killed Rashmi, and bashed into me for four. So they choose two and redirect it to my Jace. That's fine. So I traded Jace for Tempo plus Creator's Claws, which I'm okay with. Honestly, playing this as a Tempo deck is fine. And this gives me the turn where I can deploy Trinket Mage, go get Crypt, this, even though life does matter in this game. Uh, Crypt is just too good not to run. Put Crypt into play and put Rashmi into play. So just like that, I went from Five. I played the fifth land. Now next turn I will have seven, which is enough to amnesia plus brainstorm. If I draw another blue source, I could brainstorm first, or I could uh, amnesia, brainstorm on my opponent's turn, set something up if I needed to. Wall of fire. Well, that is a card I could not possibly care less about. Then they only have one, so I'm going to get in for damage this turn even to fire breathe at all. I get a blighted woodland. I'm going to amnesia their hand away and let's pull up this reveal section. Actually it'll pop up on the screen anyway. And amnesia, I hit the Talaria West with Rashmi. Chandra Ablaze, Furnace of Wrath, Gutter Snipe, Mizium Mortars, and Sword of Body and Mind. Why they didn't use Mizium Mortars on their turn to kill Rashmi, I can't possibly fathom. I guess they wanted to be able to play Gutter Snipe and Mizium Mortars in one turn, but really, you don't let me have card advantage if you can avoid giving it to me. Because just like that, your entire hand is, has been ripped apart. So, Power of Amnesia. My god, this is a good magic card. I'm going to play the Forest that I get. Uh, or, I'm going to sorry play the Talari West because it's a tap land, and I want to get it out of the way. Get in for 2 damage, they block the Rashmi. And it shows the turn back. They, I played the Blighted Woodland. I should have, I probably should have played Seeds of Canon, but I foresaw myself losing enough mana this turn, so I wanted to have the option for Woodland. I'm gonna cast Brainstorm just try to get some value. They're going to pump up their Wall of Fire in response. I hit Sakura Tribe Elder, but boom, Tamir the Moon Sage. Well, that will help me close out this game. So I've opec two lands that I can't play. Run Tamio out, and my opponent concedes in response because. 
At that point, I can tap down their wall. They are two, no, they're a five land. They're three away from getting a chrome into play. Um, and honestly, if they hit seven, what I would do is start tapping down the land instead of their wall of fire. And uh, just sit on my memory lapse uh, dismiss. And at a certain point, I'm going to get to Neo to uh, ultimate. And at that point, I'm just going to dismiss every single spell they play for the rest of the game. Getting value off Rashmi, getting value off that. Hell, I'll dismiss Chroma if I can, if I have the four mana open. Even though it won't counter her, I'll draw two cards off it with the Tamiyo I'm controlling. So in the face of Tamiyo and a uh, post Amnesia, they scoop the game up. So I think I got one more. Yeah. Is that, that was against Blazing Demon. Was it this one? Was I thinking of a different game? But, uh... Nope, they auto-concede, just like that. And I was going to mulligan this hand anyway. They were playing Dromo again. So yeah, I guess it was straight to, uh, the straight to Pagan Gamer that I was... Oh, Mumir Vig. I knew there was another that I wanted to show you guys. So this is a very fun game. I'll try to go through it quickly, so the video is not too long. Shriek, uh... Mumir Vig and I have been uh, friends on Moto for a little bit now. Uh, we both play Simic, and we are both playing Rashmi. And I figured he might be playing his Rashmi list, so that's why I queued Rashmi up against him. Uh, usually I've played a uh, Yishan against Mumir Vig because of my better deck. So I see this hand. Uh, no blue, uh, no lands. And. Alright, well, blue mana will get me what I want. So, this has got to be good enough. I see Counterspell, I'm going to push that. Just the, hey, how you doing? What's new? And he, t oh, uh, no, he talks about, uh, 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 thank you too, I wish I had a better hand. And I, I can concur with that. I'm only getting to five, though. How about you? Uh, you got three, four, five. Did I mulligan? Did he mulligan as well? I think he might have. He's going to top peak. I get a preordain for no value. He's not going to run the crypt out just because of natural aztecs. Maluria Silvok Outcast. Pick up the Simic Signal. Now I'm, uh, I'm going to run out this Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt with the Signet into play. Signet the Remora into play. And my mana problem solved. So now I can just start feeding this Remora to try to draw some cards. He's going to run Rashmi out, which is fine. I'm going to feed the Remora with a Bards. Keep that going. Fortunately, I still only have a single blue, and all of my things are blue. And Frantic Search won't produce me blue mana because I only have green lands. I'm a little bit punished for my budget mana base. I check my mana for a sec and run Rashmi out because uh, she's going to start get drawing me cards if I can't get her there. Sensei's top. Doesn't see anything he likes. I'm going to pay the Remora still. Get a Kiora. Decide I'm going to go Preordain. Try to hit some land. I uh, get a forest, but I don't hit blue land. I'm going to push both of those cards, because I don't want either of them. Get a Sylphon Library, which I can deploy right here. So, just trying to draw me out of, into some more blue mana so I can try to do things. Peek the top again. Rearrange. Tap, check, tap, and untap. And he's doing the same top trick that I've done uh, and talked about in my videos. Uh, if you know what you're going to... You, if you know you don't want to reveal what's on top of your library with Rashmi, you can top draw it, and then use Rashmi's trigger to get you the dr top back into play. In this situation, I think it's better to reveal the card, uh, just because I have a Mystic Remora. To replay that top, you have to give me a card in your hand. And I'm going to absolutely take the card. I pick up Blue Light of Woodland, so at least that can get blue mana, eventually, and a Fairy Green Gates. And I make a mistake, or actually Cauldron of Souls prevents me from actually killing either of these creatures. Uh, because they'll persist, but they can't have the minus one, minus one counter summon. So this is a free attack. I'm just going to bounce off Rashmi just to prevent commander damage. Because I would love to kill Malira. Because I'm aware of what Mumir plays in his lists. So I'm going to pay for Remora. And this is a mistake that I think I made. I don't think I should have paid for Remora on this turn. And I've already got two cards off it. Uh, like, it's done its job. I've paid four mana into it prior to this, because one to cast it, one for upkeep, and then two for upkeep. So that would be four total. I think this is a turn that I should have just let it go. I pick up Mana Leak, so that's not very good. But I find an island, finally. 
with the Sylvan Library. So I'm going to take the obligatory 8 damage, mostly because in other matches I found that life doesn't matter too much. Play the island. Now keep in mind I would have had 3 more mana here. None of which is blue. I'm going to frantic search first. And now I keep in mind I could have put Mystical Tutor back, which probably would have been correct. Uh, to put Mystical Tutor back and then tutor something uh, off of Frantic Search. And I get a Yakamaya Coast. Uh, I mean, tutor back off of uh, the library, of course. And I pitch Mana Leak here. And I pitch Mana Leak because he has an Ancient Tomb. But I, I'm still thinking like he's got so much mana and he's so ahead of me. When in fact, I actually have more mana than him at this point. He's still at 5, he still has a single source of each color. So we are both having mana problems. I just found my next source, though. And I actually pitched the Yakavaya Coast, thinking Blighted Woodland might be better. I should have pitched the Woodland into the Coast. I should have kept Mana Leak and uh, been the... Probably Gracios or Kiora. Uh, I don't foresee Kiora mattering much in this game. So uh, Mana Leak would have been definitely better to hold on to than Kiora here. I untap some lands, I immediately tap them again, and go with, and play Kiora. And at this point, uh, imagine if I had uh, the correct mana open, I would have had, uh, if I had pitched Kiora, I would have played Peregrine Grove instead, untapped four of my lands, and kept Mana Leak open. Next turn I would have had Yavi Coast, so a triple blue source, I could play Thrasios and Jace if I needed to. Or Thrasios keep up Dissipate, which would have been the, the ideal play. So then I would have had Thrasios activation or Dissipate. And I freeze Rashmi, and it bites me in the ass. Phyrexian Altar. Here comes the combo. Activates Persist. Persists Rashmi to the graveyard. Brings her back. Persists Malira to the graveyard. Brings her back. Uh, now that their Persist is gone. So Phyrexian Altar effectively paid for... Uh, only cost one mana at that point because it cost three here, but he got two back. And sorry about that, that was my pet cat just showing up. And here we go. Natural order. Well, I would love to draw a card. Unfortunately, I had the, the option of keeping this mana leak open, and I didn't. And it hurts me so bad here because. Woodfall Primus. So. If you're not familiar with the combo, Woodfall Primus uh, has a, whenever it enters the battlefield, destroy target non-creature permanent, and persist, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Malira prevents 1-1 one, one counters from being placed on creatures. This also means creatures can't enter the battlefield under your control with 1-1 one, one counters on them. Uh, and with Phyrexian Altar in play, Woodfall Primus does produce infinite mana. And the way that works, even though you would think I would lose my entire board before he has infinite mana, is uh, stack the... Uh, target Sylvan Library, in response to this ability, sacrifice it. Persist is put in the stack, bringing it back. Sacrifice it again with the destroy ability, or sorry, target Sylvan Library again with the destroy ability, and then sacrifice. So he could produce infinite mana uh, and leave me with something so, like, uh, I mean, I would probably leave my opponent with, honestly, Crypt at this point, or Simic Signet maybe, but I, I think I would leave them with Crypt because it's non-colored or like something like a single forest, so that way you have infinite mana on your next turn, which is where you, what you really want it on, when you have the full untap, and you can draw cards, because he's going to get Rashmi into play this turn, or Rashmi back into play, he's going to have a t at least one top activation. Uh, all of my non, non creature permanents are destroyed, so I only have Rashmi, I have non-colored mana in my hand, the game's over, and I just scoop it up. He got, he got me, and I make, I, I could have stopped it, I had made this blunder, I would have had Rashmi dealt with, natural order gone, uh, because uh, cost would be sacrificing Rashmi, uh, but I just don't see it. Or I could have just countered the Phyrexian Altar if I really wanted to, because uh, 1, 2, 3, he only had 2 mana after that, uh, which I might have done, just lo just get rid of Altar immediately, but even then, I would have needed to keep this mana leak, and I had that line, and I didn't realize it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the couple of gameplays that I included here. Uh, if, you, if I made other any other misplays in this game or with some of the others, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I hope to see you all in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video to anyone you think might enjoy it. Alright, bye.